the new CPU lineup from Intel is here. So if you're looking for the best value PC that you can build with the new Intel Core Ultra 5 245K, God, they are making these names way too long. Well, this is going to be the perfect video for you. I'll show you the best price to performance PC build with this new Intel CPU for 1080p, 1440p and 4K resolution for both content creation and gaming at the same time. I'll show you the expected performance and on top of that, I'll tell you which monitor to get for each PC. The links to these computers will be down below in the video description with the latest prices and availability in your region. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's start. Before starting, I want to break down the level of performance that you can achieve with this new Core Ultra 5 processor, just in case you haven't seen the day one reviews. Basically, long story short, for gaming, it is not exciting. It is basically the same as the i5 13600K when it comes to average FPS, actually slightly slower, but it is more power efficient than both the i5 13600K and 14600K. Now, for productivity work and content creation applications, it does beat its competition like the Ryzen 7 7700X, 9700X, and the previous Intel CPUs in the 14600K and 13600K. So in terms of price to performance for productivity work is actually not terrible but in terms of price to performance for gaming it is definitely not exciting. So if you want a CPU purely for gaming I would actually wait for the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D launch or I would go with its competition the Ryzen 5 7600 which is actually over $100 cheaper and will give you basically the same level of gaming performance. But if you really want to go with Intel especially if you want a CPU for both gaming, content creation and also productivity work, then by all means you can go ahead and buy this processor and remember that the link will be down in the video description with the latest prices and availability in your region. Now let's continue with the best value PC build that you can build around this Core 5 Ultra. So first we have the best value price performance system overall, then I will show you cheaper systems and more expensive ones, but this one in my opinion is the sweet spot if you want to do gaming and content creation at the same time. Of course for the CPU here you get the Intel Core Ultra 5 processor alongside an aftermarket CPU air cooler that has RGB. It's a beautiful cooler and it's going to be all that you need really for this Intel Core Ultra 5. For the motherboard you get one from MSI. It's a set a90 motherboard with Wi-Fi included, plenty of M.2 slots so if you ever need more storage you can upgrade the storage for a long time. And then you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory so that's going to be perfect for content creation, streaming and gaming at the same time so you can do any task that you want. Then you get 2 terabytes of SSD which is going to be pretty good for both gaming and content creation and then the main component, the graphics card, here you get the RTX 4070 Super. Now with the RTX 4070 super you can play any game that you want really at 1440p resolution even the high demanding titles so if you want to enjoy good visuals in games like Red Dead Redemption 2, High 2 Ultra settings, then that's going to be completely fine with the 4070 Super. And in terms of the exact level of performance in high demanding games, well, you can expect 100 plus FPS on average in these type of titles. And if you want, you can also play at 4K resolution with this graphics card, 60 plus FPS. And if you turn on the DLSS, which is the upscaler from Nvidia, you can expect a smoother performance at 4K, especially in those high demanding titles. Now, the monitor that I recommend you buying for this system, it's a 1440p, 144 or 165 hertz one, depending on the type of games you play. If you want to do content creation and gaming, but you mostly play story games where you want your graphics to be a priority, then a 144 hertz 1440p monitor is perfect. However, if you want to play esports shooters like CS2 or Valorant, then I recommend you buying a 240 hertz 1440p monitor or a 1080p 540 hertz one. That's going to depend on how serious you want to compete. But again, you can easily fit a 4K monitor if you are going to play easier to run games or if you're okay with turning on DLSS in high demanding titles. Then you get a case with plenty of airflow from Enermax. This one has four pre-installed RGB fans. Amazing for the price, honestly. Just 58 bucks by the time of filming. So this is going to be the perfect price to performance case for a price to performance system. And last but not least, we have an A tier ready power supply from NZXT. This is top tier quality you are not risking your PC components with this power supply and it also fits 
the wattage requirement. Now the total price for this system is 1480 bucks by the time of filming and in my opinion this one is the best price for performance system with this Intel processor especially if you want to do both gaming and content creation. If you just want to do gaming and you want a better price for performance system I recommend you going from the 4070 Super graphics card to the RX 7900 GRE from AMD. This is going to give you basically the same level of gaming performance at a cheaper price. So if you go with the AMD option, you are going to be spending around 1420 bucks for the entire system, so that's going to be about $60 cheaper. Now keep in mind that the price might be different when you're watching this one, so I do recommend you checking the latest prices and availability from the links in the description. Then if you want a more budget-friendly PC, I recommend you downgrading the graphics card from the 4070 Super or 7900 GRE to the RX 7 XD. This graphics card is going to be amazing for 1440p gaming anyway, you can achieve 90 plus FPS in high demanding games and you can also play at 1080p very high FPS so you can easily fit a 1080p 540Hz monitor as well if you want to compete in esports games and the recommended monitor is going to be the same 1440p 144Hz one. The only thing I don't recommend you doing with this system is playing at 4K in those high demanding games because the 7800 XD is going to struggle in high demand titles at 4k but if you're not going to be playing at 4k you just want to play at 1440p or 1080p very high fps this is going to be a much better option for you the price for this entire pc is 1360 bucks by the time of filming it's not particularly cheap but it's more of a budget option compared to the other one and I wouldn't recommend you putting a lower end GPU for this new Intel processor. So this is kind of the minimum graphics card I recommend you in the 7800 XT. And if you must have Nvidia then the option that you have is the RTX 4060 Ti 16 GB version. I do not like this graphics card, it's going to be quite slower for gaming but if you're a content creator and you want to focus on content creation first and gaming second then it makes sense to go with the 4060 Ti 16GB version because it's going to be better in most content creation and productivity work applications compared to the RX 7800 XT but it is going to be slower for gaming just keep that in mind so unless you play at 1080p or 1440p but lower settings I wouldn't recommend you making this downgrade on the other hand if you have more money to spend and you want the best performing PC with this Intel processor then I recommend you getting the RTX 4070 Ti Super graphics card or the RX 7900 XT from AMD. Now with this system you can basically play any game that you want at 1440p very high FPS. You can expect over 120 FPS on average in those high demanding games and you will be achieving faster performance at 4k so I feel more comfortable recommending a 4k monitor for this system or a 1440p 360hz monitor for example than any other system I recommended today. Now this one is the most expensive one but it is the best performing one as well so as I said before if you have a bit of extra money to spend this pc is going to be perfect also here you get a better quality case with plenty of airflow as well looks amazing and on top of that you get an 850 watt power supply instead of 750 watts because you will need more wattage for these graphics cards and if you go with the amd gpu instead of the nvidia one you are going to receive a discount so you are going to be spending less money achieving about the same level of gaming performance but again amd usually is worse when it comes to content creation applications and also dlc works better which is the upscaler from nvidia and you get a better level of ray tracing performance in the 4070 ti super so it's really up to you whether you want to go for amd or nvidia just keep in mind that the 4070 ti super pc with the intel processor is going to cost you around 1700 usd while the one with the 7900 xt from amd is going to cost you less than 1600 usd so that's more than a hundred dollars of difference but it's really up to you if you are not sure whether you get the 7900 xt or 4070 ti super well i made an entire video talking about the differences between the two and which one you should get depending on your needs you can find that video in the top right corner of the screen let me know what you guys think about this new intel processor down in the comment section and i will see you on the next one